it's really cool because I can actually now tell my cameraman what I want with the shot. Angle the camera up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. All right, cool. Hi guys, my name is Jason Lanier and this video is going to address how you guys can film yourself with professional gear and check everything on your phone with full manual functions. It's amazing and I can't wait to share it with you. Today I'm filming my A7R 3 review video and we are at lunch reviewing what we are going to do and one of the comments from a follower said, hey, tell us how, you, how the remote control function is with the camera. So while at the restaurant, we started messing around with both the A9 and the A7R 3 and we realized that the, the Play Memories app is now very different for these two cameras than it's ever been before. On previous versions, we had to, uh, we could control our cameras with our phones, but it was only like exposure compensation value and it would only do JPEGs. Now we have a lot more functionality. Now we can control manual functions, ISO, shutter, f-stop, white balance, and we can even shoot in stills mode with bulb. You can shoot in video mode, you can shoot in stills mode, and control everything. It's really awesome, guys. There's only a couple caveats and we're gonna show them to you now. The only caveat to the video mode is you have to turn the video mode on physically with your camera to be able to engage video. Stills you can do all day on and off with your phone. On video you have to record on the camera first and then you have full functionality with the exception of white balance. White balance you can control with stills. In video mode you're able to control f-stop, shutter, and ISO. So let me show you guys how it's working. So to access this function guys, what you do is you go into the network menu there. You go down to control with smartphone. Control with smartphone needs to be turned on. And then you go to connection info. And then it goes to, to connect, okay? So now we connect the phone. And I'll show you the rest. The A7R3 is recording me over here, and what we have is I'm showing you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So here I have the ability to change my, F st uh, my shutter speed. I can go really slow. You can see the change is instantaneous. I can go fast. And you may ask what the ability is. I can go all the way down to eight, all the way up to eight thousandths of a second, all the way down to a quarter of a second. Okay and you're white, I'm whited out on my, on my camera. Then I can check to see where I'm at. Check my exposure and go from there, okay? I can do the same with my f-stop, go from 2.8 all the way down to f10, okay? And I can go back to 2.8 or whatever the range is on your camera or your lens, okay? Same with ISO, guys, I can take the ISO, super high, super low all the way down to auto but we don't like auto so what we're going to do now is i'm going to turn it into stills mode and this camera is going to record me um, and because i'm going to shoot stills on that one and show you guys what we get so i'm going to you can record you can turn the recording off right here now in stills mode what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my shutter all the way down to bulb okay and it's really cool because what it does is now that's in bulb mode, I can take this and I move it over, which starts the shutter. Now I can take it. So now it's been recording for five, six, seven seconds, whatever it may be. And you may not have heard it because we're just recording with the onboard mic here, but um, the shutter definitely did, did uh, close. Okay. So. It recorded what, like a seven second yep. clip or whatever it may be. And I'm able to, oh, there's the picture came out. Now clearly it's overexposed because that's what happens when you record it in the middle of the day for seven seconds. Um, and let me show you guys white balance. I can change my white balance here. Kelvin, okay. Is that picking up? Yeah. I can completely change everything right from my phone, which to me is a huge benefit. So now, um, hit record on that. So now it's showing record. I'm going to change my shutter speed. It's going to reflect those adjustments. I'm going to center myself. 
I love the fact that I can center myself in the camera and see where I'm standing. Okay, I can see what the background looks like. I can see everything just right with my phone. Being able to do this, change my aperture, get my aperture right, my shutter right, my ISO right is phenomenal. It really is. It's, it's a huge um, advantage for me. There is a little bit of a lag between the two, but I'm not trying to sit up here and monitor the whole thing. What I'm trying to do is get my settings right. And for situations like when the sun comes out or just your exposure changes a lot, it's just really awesome to be able to, on the fly, adjust it. I can't tell you how many times over the course of my career I've had to go back and forth and back and forth, hit record, record a little segment of myself, go back, watch it, and go back and forth until I got it right. That really sucks. For anybody who records themselves or does anything for YouTube or whatever else, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We live in a different age, guys, where so many people out there are hybrid shooters. They're doing both. Obviously, I'm one of them that I love my YouTube channel. I love you guys out there watching it. And I obviously am a pro photographer. And so being able to do both for me is a big deal. My most popular videos, my most watched videos, my most viewed videos are actually the videos of me talking to the camera, believe it or not. The videos that I have filmed myself. Even with my the big production crews and stuff that we've done from time to time, my most popular videos are where my camera's sitting on a tripod and I am speaking with you. And as a result, being able to get everything right is critical. Um, I honestly can't tell you how many times I've sat there by myself and been very, very, very frustrated with <laughs> having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's very frustrating. So this is a huge win for me. Um, currently, that we've checked, it does it only on the R3 and the, the Sony A7R3 and the Sony A9. Whether it does it on Nikon and Canon, I don't know. If it does, that's awesome. I'd love to hear about that. This is something I'm talking about for the photography community as a whole. Regardless of what you shoot, this is a big deal. And I hope other camera manufacturers do that if they aren't already. Being able to do this with these cameras is great. I know a lot of Sony users who shoot some of the other bodies would certainly love to see it on those uh, other bodies as well. And I know that there's so many folks out there who don't have the money for production crews, but they do have the money for a tripod a lens and a camera and they can film themselves doing exactly what we're doing. Now you can already do this on your on your your camera but the fact now you can do it with pro level equipment with beautiful lenses and, and control your aperture and control everything. Uh, for anyone who's filmed themselves you'll know what I'm talking about. For those watching this if you haven't done a lot of filming of yourself you may think this is no big deal. Trust me it is. Um, I can just set the camera off to the side right here and watch what's going on and know that everything is going really really well. What if the battery dies, exposure changes, anything like that? What if there's craziness going on behind me that I can't see, which has happened many times? Being able to have that camera there and look at it is great. You may say, well, just get a monitor. Well, a monitor I have to set up and everything else. My phone, I have with me 100% of the time. If I have my camera with me, I have my phone with me. And as a result, now I have an option that I can take anywhere and do anything with with a smaller footprint, and I love it. The only thing that I would really put out there as a, as a request to Sony, since I am a Sony shooter, is if you're able to do anything to add the audio levels, that would be awesome. Adding audio levels to this would make it an even better setup because then I can make sure that I'm not losing audio and nothing's gone on. That's a big concern when you're filming yourself as well because obviously you're not hooked up to headphones. And so being able to see the audio levels would be a tremendous win. I have filmed videos and the audio's cut or the batteries died and I'm sitting there talking to a dead camera and I didn't know it for times when I do longer videos. So that would be awesome. Um, thank you to Sony for putting this together um, and uh, I hope to see it in all cameras for all manufacturers out there. I know it's a huge win for me and what I do. Many times I find myself in crazy places around the world. I don't have a film person with me. I may not even have an assistant with me. Being able to do this for me is huge. So. I love it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's talk to these camera manufacturers and tell them what we need. That's critical for us to be able to be successful. And uh, all I want, guys, is I want photographers like you out there watching this to have the tools that you need to get the job done that you want to do, regardless of the brand name on the front. So until next time, guys, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find work that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. And that is super true. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Cut. Just because I'm a model, I can't get a loan? Let me check. Correct. Oh! <laughs> Life sucks for you. Are you actually still there?
talking to you. Guys, if you want to continue this madness online, go to patreon.com slash Jason Leonard Photography, and you can learn online with me anywhere in the world, maybe even if you work at a bank. And if you want to see me in person, go to jasonlinear.com slash register, and you guys can come to a workshop near you. If you don't see one that's near you, send me an email at jason at jailpros.com, and we'll set one up. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Friend Art Gither works for you, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Cute. Wonderful.